I expected a mistake, and you didn't disappoint. Thank you. I don't like to disappoint people. Just tell me what else you want me to wreck, and I'll get right on it. So you got a pretty good ridge going there. So now when you pull it back, pull it, pull it about six inches to the left. So I get rid so of you, that ridge? Yep, so you get rid of that ridge, and then you're good. Do I slide it over, or just? So as you're pulling it, you kind of slide it over as you're coming back. Yep, now we'll just walk it over a little bit. Six, eight, 12 inches, and that's it. Oh, you're good. Are you sure? Concrete's wet. It's gonna leave ridges right now. That's okay. Nice job. Okay. I'm pretty sure that deserves a hot fiber. Oh, thank you. Bam! Got it. Pays better than you already, son. So what are we doing, Ryan? So we're gonna put the joints in the control joints. This is a walking joiner. It's connected to poles. You can add more poles to a certain extent. Obviously, you can put about five on maximum to reach out. Uh, but there's a point where you just can't get it anymore. But this is putting that groove in there like the control joints we talked about before so I walk them in with this walking joiner and then when the concrete sets up a little bit more the guys will actually use hand joiners they'll go out on knee boards and they'll clean them up all perfectly so this is the initial cutting of the control joints this takes a lot of skill to get these straight because your control joints they need to be pretty straight no control joints gonna be like a laser but they got to be straight by eye right because you know, this is something you're gonna look at forever, look at it forever. Right? this yep. is once okay. and that's it so what I'm doing here is we snap the line with a nylon string line to leave an impression on the surface of the concrete. Now what I do is I, I'll slowly push this joiner out and I'll watch the joiner and I'll try to keep it right on that line. And you will never get it perfect the first time out, but you push it all the way out there and then you look at it, which I'll show you in just a second. So we'll stop there just for this little demonstration. So now I'll look down the joint and you'll see all the little imperfections, the little, you know, waves back and forth so yep. as i drag it back i'll very carefully angle that joiner one way or the other to get those little wobbles out as you bring it back to get that joint as straight as possible so now i'll drag it back and i'll just eyeball it and i'll try to get all those little wobbles out as i bring it back concrete's a little wet for this right now and the handles are in the trees but we'll do the best we can here And you'll do this, sometimes it takes three or four times to get it perfect, but that's how you get straight joints. If you look down that now, I'll go another time or two, but that's pretty straight already. So once I hit that one or two more times, it'll be pretty much perfect. It's almost like he did this once or twice before. Uh, yeah, I think I've, yeah, I've cut probably many, many miles of joints in my life. I'm gonna set, let this set up for a few minutes. It's a little wet. I'm gonna get it, give it five more minutes. I'll let you try it, because it is actually, it's pretty difficult. <laughs> All right, this should be funny, you guys. Ryan's gonna have me put in a control joint. This yeah. is my first one ever. Yep. All right. Hopefully it's not your last. Yep. All right, I'm gonna cut out the first two squares because that's kind of the hardest part you gotta get down on your knees. And I'll let you take it from there. Okay. So, okay, so if you're looking at the joiner, this is, this is, this is gonna be your center. You can't see this once you get it out. There's certain ways you can't see this anymore. It doesn't have like a sight. So that's going to be your site. So you're going to line up the snap line, the impression in the concrete, with this right here. And when you go out, 
you go out slow. Because if you mess up a little bit, if you've only gone out six inches, it's easy to fix. If you just push the thing quickly two feet and you're off, that's hard to fix. So yeah, just go a little bit at a time. We'll see how I do it here. So you're looking right down that thing with your dominant eye, you're putting it right on that line. And then you go out just a little bit, tilt it up, and then and then come back and let it sink in. You know what I'm saying? You want to cut it all the way in. Let the weight of the, let the, weight of the joiner okay. cut the joint for you. Okay. Probably on the one. Three, four inches at a time. Okay. You gotta work it a little bit. It's like you gotta get the way How do I get this to do? Okay, see now I got off a little bit. I'm just a hair to the right. See that? Yes. That happens. I don't care who you are. So then you bring it back to where you got off, take your handle this way a little bit, and straighten it back out. And get, get back on perfect. That's what I'm saying. You only go a little bit at a time. That was easy to fix. You know, if I had to fix two feet like that, it's more of a pain. Harder to get straight. Okay. It's at a stage now where it's not easy. The concrete's setting up, it's pretty stiff. Okay. I should have had you do it probably 10 minutes ago. A little bit at a time. Now bring it back towards you and let it sink in. I'll just work it back and forth just like that. Autumn, get the concentration. Look at his face. Look at that. The shooting looks like a shooting pool. Yeah, no kidding. It looks like you're trying to sink the eight ball for a million bucks. Sorry guys, when I'm learning something new, I like it. Really yes. Good. You're doing really good. Slow, slow, slow but steady, right? Slow but steady. Imagine with all dry wood. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going a little too slow then. So back up by Daryl and then you walk in, get the back of his head, and then as you come in, get the joiner. That's a great shot. Go back by Daryl. Now you come in right at his head, and then as you get by his head, you go to the joiner.
Daryl, is there any concerns when you're pulling the boards off that you got to watch out for? Yeah. Yeah, right. Was Daryl yes. concerned? Yes. <laughs> there is a concern. You got to watch out for breaking and chipping the edges back. I've done that before. So it's, you tap it downwards and you pull it out when you're doing that slowly. Okay. Otherwise, I have to go back and fix it or say, hey, fellas, can you go fix it? <laughs> I don't like to do that. Yeah, no, nobody likes to have somebody else fix your screw up. I know what you mean. That's why when Ryan was handing me the tools and going, hey, finish that, do this. I'm like, oh, man. You did a good job, though. Oh, I got lucky. You didn't even like to be nervous about it. You just went right in there like you owned it. Oh, well, thank you. I'm confident when he tries stuff. You know what I tried what was really difficult for me? TIG welding. I went to a performance shop last winter and the guy was TIG welding and I'm a pretty I'm a pretty good welder. I weld a lot of stuff. Pretty, uh -huh. pretty much all stick and MIG welding. Yeah. So he's trying to show me TIG welding. I was like, man, I, I went with so much. Like, I'm a good welder. TIG welding is hard. To, have you ever tried TIG welding? I don't even know what TIG welding that's is. Where you hold, that's where you have the torch and then yeah. you have, you know, your stick. Yeah. And then you have, you also have a foot pedal. So you got three things Oh, going geez, at one forget time. that. You I do know I'm half just, Polish. That's not happening, I right? I just couldn't do it. Really? That takes practice for sure. Wait, wait, yeah, I can weld. Yeah. Well, eh. Yeah, Nothing right. I'll show you know anybody yeah. and brag about, but it'll stick two pieces of metal together and won't break know, for the most part. But yeah, once you add that, no. That's a skill. Three things going at once. So you're finishing the exposed edge, right? Yes, sir. So what, will you introduce yourself to the camera so people know who you are? My name is Francisco. And how long have you worked with these guys? For two years. Two years, all right. Do you guys, do you, do you guys kind of break down who does what on the job? Or is there some people better at certain things than others? Yeah, well, they'll be here longer, so Bugs has been working for Ryan for over two decades. Bugs has been. Bugs, how long you been with Ryan? Early 2000s. Marcel too. When they were polished concrete. You too, Marcel? Marcel. Yep. Two. yep. 2002. Yep. Man, you guys have, that's a, that's kind of unheard of to have a team that's been together that long. It took a while to get to this point though. I'm recovering doping. I've been clean 11 years, but I, 35 years, I was an idiot. But life is good now. Good for you. Yeah, they ran me off a couple times back in the day. Oh, yeah? I come in all cracked out. <laughs> yep. Yeah, but they let you back. That's because I got my shit together. Right. Yep. That says something for a person, you know? Yes, sir. <laughs> kind of says that he's got your back a little bit, right? Boss has your back. Without a doubt. Yep. Yep. Uh, you don't get that. I don't. You don't get those those stories very often, bugs. No, because they're either dead or in prison. I'm a lucky one. Yeah. Why would you clean up? What made it happen? I just, I, I, I couldn't uh, punish myself anymore. I got so sick of crawling out of the hole. I just couldn't do it no more. What was the What was the secret then? Did you go to treatment or do I it? I lived in a place for two years. Okay. To learn how to live. Two years I lived there. It was on like 27th so, and Highland. I lived there for two years. Was it a sober house? Yeah. Yep. yep. Learn how to live, brother. How many people did dead. How many people did you live with there? Uh, there's probably 40. And they help keep you. They help keep each other on track. Yeah, the what? Uh, both the people that stay clean, healthy, and the ones that go back out and get high again and die, they help you too. Because then you tell yourself, I don't want to do that. Yeah. You know, it's a hell of a cost, but that's the way I looked at it. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, you did. I did. I cut. I cut. Uh -huh. I cut that one in. Yeah. All right. So what do we got? What are we going to be doing next? Uh, you're going to go over here with Eric, and you're going to start picture framing. Picture frame. Okay. So I just want to show these guys what that means. So they broom finish the inside, and then just to dress up the outside. That's what they're going to be doing. But this takes skill, so I don't know why they have me doing it. <laughs> 